a very warm uh, good morning to you, Mr. Wadwa, Managing Director of Stafcon India, whom we are interviewing today on the uh, curtain raiser for our IME 2022 exhibition, which is being held in the uh, city of Kolkata, which is known for its legacy in mining. And uh, uh, Mr. Wadwa will be briefing us today about uh, the preparations for the IME 2022 exhibition, which is IME, uh, as you know, is Indian Mining Exhibition. And all uh, major miners in this country and mining equipment suppliers, uh, suppliers of spares and services are all going to be present. So Wadwa, sir, once again, uh, a warm uh, good morning to you and a warm welcome. We would like to ask, begin by asking you, uh, with the ninth edition of IME 2022, how many uh, exhibitors and participants do you have uh, in this edition of IME? And uh, what kind of uh, floor area are we talking about? Uh, we are, this exhibition is covering about 12,000 square meters, including the inside stalls, as well as the open equipment area and Australia as a focus country. Australia has about 40 members delegation participating and Germany also will be a similar and about 20 companies participating. And uh, total about there are 300 stalls uh, spread over inside and outside. And in spite of the COVID uh, scare which was there, now people are very, very enthusiastic to participate. As you know, the government has made major policy changes reformed in the last about year and year and a half. So even the international players are also very keen to participate. Some of them are not able to travel physically from abroad. So their Indian counterparts are getting represented and they will be there in their respective stalls in the Congress. Thank you, Mr. Wadwa. Great to know that uh, you have a good participation from partner country, Australia, and also from Germany. Uh, we have just recently interviewed uh, Mr. Rajesh Nath of VDNA India. So he was uh, referring to the German pavilion where the Germans are uh, there in a big way. And uh, Australia, as we all know, is uh, uh, well known for its mining activity. So it is uh, quite natural that Australia has been taken as part of country. Now, uh, uh, with the recent amendment of the MMDR Act, we have seen quite a few private miners uh, who have entered the uh, uh, you know, field of mining, and some of them have already started their mining operations. In this context, uh, uh, do you think IME 2022 will play as a bridge uh, to bring the miners and equipment uh, suppliers, uh, technology providers all together in one platform during this uh, version of IME 2022? I, I said that there will be a large number of MDOs who will be also presenting uh, and participating by way of visiting and interact with the mining companies, both you know, and uh, both in the conference as well as in the exhibition, there will be a huge amount of interaction we are looking for over those four days. Thank you, Vadva Sab. So it's good to uh, know that uh, the parallel conference, which uh, uh, Asia Mining Congress, by which is being uh, hosted by, I mean, which is being organized by your co-partner MGMI. Uh, yeah. will uh, bring, bring in uh, a substantial participation in terms of uh, viewership and attendance also for the exhibition as well. Yeah. So uh, now uh, just to uh, uh, talk a little bit about TEFCON in general, you were, uh, you started your life with ITPO. I mean, you were there with ITPO for such a long time. Now, uh, the kind of infrastructure we have in, in India, when you compare that to that of Europe and US, where we have much better infrastructure available and where exhibition is taken very seriously, where people come and sign contracts. But in India, uh, we do not have that much of infrastructure available in terms of having uh, the exhibitions on a very serious platform with uh, all the business facilities available. So what would be your recommendation uh, to have a good infrastructure in place? For example, in the city of Kolkata, where you are holding this exhibition, you have to build up your stalls you have to build up the infrastructure. So what uh, would be your recommendation to the government, uh, both to the states as well as uh, to our uh, uh, federal government, central government to put up uh, uh, infrastructure in every uh, nook and corner of this country? 
actually through the indian exhibition industry association over the last 15 years this point has been taken up with the government uh, regularly and fortunately in the last about 4 5 years we see the uh, much better infrastructure coming up in major towns like uh, uh, delhi and bombay and uh, you know hyderabad etc and greater noida but we definitely are missing a permanent exhibition halls you know in calcutta uh, because you know putting up temporary halls is a little major issue while the milan mela is being you know uh, modernized and you know new halls are coming up but that is not sufficient because we want to do the events in the winter period and we find most of the time it will be the government shows and the events which will be happening so definitely we are recommended to the you know hitco uh, authorities that they uh, let there be another permanent uh, exhibition halls at another location maybe in eco park thank you vadwa sir i think this is uh, necessary not only for cities like kolkata but also uh, the tier 2 and the tier 3 cities for example that's right yeah for example uh, raipur is a uh, uh, venue where there is a lot of uh, mining activity goes on around that region in chatisgarh then you have uh, 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 the other city ranchi like and bhubneshwar also rachi bhubneshwar which is coming up as a mining hub yeah. uh, for the future so i think we need adequate uh, infrastructure there as well that's so, right uh, uh, it's a point i think which uh, uh, ministry of commerce uh, and uh, various other ministries should look at uh, you know options where they could put it up on a joint venture with the state governments so uh, Mr. but Wadwa, more than that, that the state governments have to take very aggressive steps on that you know because uh, um, we are a large country and you know various states are coming up with the improved uh, infrastructure so west bengal also needs to be looking at it and in fact uh, odisha as well as uh, jharkhand and chatisgarh they have to come up with a permanent venue sir exactly exactly uh, yeah. Mr. Yeah. completely uh, yeah the point is completely yeah. well taken and uh, uh, i'm sure the state governments uh, will be looking at this very seriously and this is uh, especially after uh, uh, the pandemic uh, there is a lot of pent up demand is in this country so this that uh, to uh, bring that pent up demand uh, converted into that of uh, real activity you need uh one to one interaction with the technology providers the equipment suppliers the miners themselves then uh, you know the it uh, companies which are putting in a lot of industry 4.0 initiatives in mining uh, all that in the place now uh, moving on to uh, uh, ime 2022 uh, you have more than 300 exhibitors as you said more than 300 uh, stalls yeah 300 stalls yeah. which are being put up now uh, uh that 12000 uh, square meters uh, does that include the open area where uh, the uh, equipment the large equipment uh, like dumpers uh, and all that which will be uh, in outdoor display is that included in this 12000 square meter no uh, uh, open area is 4000 square meter uh, gross and inside is 8000 square meter gross so total is 12000 okay. total 12000 yeah and uh, how how many uh, state governments are uh, mr wadwa involved uh, in the uh, total uh, you know support odisha we have uh, course, about uh, four state governments uh, including uh, jharkhand gujarat karnataka and west bengal they are participating okay, by way good. of showcasing and uh, some yeah. of them are visiting some of them are visiting so yeah. uh, the 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 inauguration is being done uh, uh, on the 12th itself and what would be uh, uh, the inauguration who will be inaugurating if you could just brief us a little bit about the inauguration you know Inaug- in- inauguration is on 4th uh, morning at 10 o'clock of the congress and at 11:30 in the morning of the exhibition uh, it is uh, mr anil kumar jain secretary coal government of india and uh, he will be inaugurating Uh, the both the events thank you mr wadwa and uh, the congress is yeah. taking place at uh, venue outside uh, the exhibition right at the west end yeah that yeah is... that is the west bengal convention center uh, okay, joining the, the convention center yeah yeah okay great 
uh, now uh, we, uh, you know uh, we the last edition of IME obviously uh, could not take uh, that was two years back in 2022 right which was uh, postponed. Uh, no, we had in November 99, so it should have come okay. up in October 21. So that had to be delayed because of the COVID situation. Okay, so from October 21, it is now uh, this year in March in 2022. Okay. Uh, now, uh, in terms of, uh, yeah. let's say, uh, IME's next uh, uh, edition, uh, when do you plan to have the next uh, 20, uh, is it in 2024 or later? Uh, no, it is a, no, 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 it is a biennial thing. So it will happen in you know uh, November 2023. November 2023. Okay. Yeah. So the, that's great. And uh, uh, in terms of uh, let's say uh, the mining companies directly, do you have quite a few mining companies also participating, yeah. or is it only the uh, equipment suppliers and uh, the the service and technology suppliers? Do you have the mining no, companies? No, it, like it is a large number of mining companies participating, like uh, Coal India, NMDC. Yeah, the large number of mining companies, like Coal India, NMDC, NTPC, they all are participating, you know, you know, Neville and Ignite. So all the mining companies are participating. That's great to hear, Mr. Vajra. And my last... Even the non-metallic in Hindustan Copper, Hindalco, they all are participating. Tata's are participating. Great, great. So, yeah. uh, and uh, uh, it be, it's been, uh, I would say, a uh, uh, legacy of TAFCON to bring in a lot of public sector players as well. So, I'm sure this time also you will be have, we will be having all the government companies, uh, both at the uh, uh, central and the state level uh, government mining companies participating. Now, the the last question which I would uh, like to ask you, Mr. Wadwa, is primarily uh, related to uh, your, you know, various brands which you have created over the years. Forum was a brand which you created, then of course you, you sold that brand off. Now are you uh, in the process of creating more brands in, uh, especially my, since our uh, target audience is in the mining and uh, the metals industry segment. So I am uh, particularly interested in knowing, are you uh, really, because your Met and HTS is also being developed as a brand uh, that uh, is happening, I think, later this year, to the, the next edition is this year itself. So other than Met, HTS and IME, you know, what are the other uh, industry brands that you are looking at? And what are the specific industries where TEFCON is interested in uh, building up uh, shows for the future? Actually, for the last two years pandemic, the idea is to stabilize the existing exhibitions well. And that that is what, fortunately, IME, uh, there will be a very good participation compared to the last time. So I think let the things get settled down as far as the COVID is concerned. Then only we can look into the other, you know, brands or other, you know, frequency of the exhibition. Thank you, Mr. Vadwa. And, uh, yeah. uh, my uh, supplement question with regard to the last question would be, are uh, there plans for TAFCON to move in to locations outside the geographical boundaries of this country? Are you planning to put up shows uh, in Southeast Asia and in Europe and in other countries like Middle East uh, in the medium and long term? So just to know about your future plans. We, are, we, we very strongly feel that India has offers a lot of <coughs> opportunities <coughs> and it is best to improve the you know the exhibition size wise and quality wise in India. and uh, rather than taking the exhibition outside we did that about 10 to 15 years back and uh, in china in poland and iran etc but now we feel that you know it is much better for the indians when the exhibitions are held in india and um, many of the foreigners are interested to come and you know participate here. Thank you, Mr. Wadwa, and it was really a pleasure talking to you. And uh, we uh, wish you all the best Hello. for a very successful IME 2022, as well as the other shows. And I'm sure we will get a chance to interact with each other during uh, IME 2022. And thank you once again. Wishing you Surely. a very happy holiday. Uh, wishing you a very, very happy holiday. Wish you a very happy holiday and family and.
all of uh, your industry same same to you sir take care okay bye 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 thank you bye